It's rare that this happens, but every stall is taken. I took the last one. So someone was just asking me about that yesterday. Yeah, so there are two slots open now, two stalls. And uh, it's a good thing because I, you know, I rarely run into that problem, but I ran into it a few times last year around, you know, pretty much toward the end of the summer. So I'm very concerned how that's going to work out here in Atlanta once, you know, we have you know, 6,000 Model 3s per week coming out. I'm really wondering how we're gonna do with basically 10 supercharger stalls. I mean, it's not gonna get it done. We're, we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a Kettleman City style uh, station here very, very soon, because that's not gonna work at all. It's a big, big, big concern of mine because with all the driving around that I do, it's good to be able to just swing by a supercharger with you know 10 15 minutes of downtime and just get a quick refresh on the charging and if you lose that ability because it's all crowded and you can't get in there that's really going to have a negative impact on on my Tesla ownership if you know what I mean and listen I I used to be one of those guys who would say don't be cheap charge at home leave the supercharger for those who are traveling from out of state and they're on a long road trip, leave it for them. But let's face it, sometimes locals need it too. And if we can't get to it because we're waiting in line behind 20 or 30 Model 3s, that's not a good thing. I really believe that they have an answer to that. I, I think that Tesla is already thinking ahead and they're thinking about this and they're saying, okay, guys, we need to get some more superchargers out here quickly. I, I've heard that there's that they're working on a supercharger station somewhere in Atlanta. It, the problem is, is Atlanta is so crowded right now and we just don't have the infrastructure to support all the growth that we're dealing with. And I think that that is the main problem I mean, I think that's the main reason why Tesla has yet to install another, I mean, put up another supercharging station, because I, I really don't even know where they do it. I keep looking around, I'm like, where would I put a supercharging station? Maybe they'll want to just add more stalls to Atlantic Station? Who knows? But let me tell you, they got to do something, and they got to do it fast, because I realized that when I was in Florida. I mean, you have... I would say they were about um, no more than 10 miles apart, maybe even less than that. But you had three big supercharging stations with like 10 stalls each or more. And, you know, and I hear that they already have one or if not two stations in Florida that have 50 charging stalls. And we've only got 10. Come on. And I don't count Decatur. Decatur's terrible. I mean, you've got four stalls there, and, you know, they, they left it dark for half the year, and there's there's nowhere to go. And that's another thing. That's, that's one more thing I need to touch on while I'm sitting here whining and complaining. <laughs> um, man, the, all the, the supercharging stations that I'm seeing around here in the, in the southeast except for Atlantic Station, there is nothing to do and nowhere to really go when you plug your car up. So I think it was Tipton, Georgia. You're behind this fence on the other side of the highway. I didn't really like that. Um, and then you're in, this, you're in this parking lot and there's a hotel over there and there's a, there is a, oh God, what is over there? I'm forgetting right now. Hmm. Wendy's and Starbucks and I think maybe a McDonald's possibly but I just didn't really find great choices over there so of course I just stayed in the car Lake City Florida you're right behind I think it was Lake City yeah Lake City Florida you're right behind a 
Firehouse Subs, which that's good, but Firehouse Subs closes at like 9 or 10 p.m., so then what are you gonna do, right? If you, if you stop in some of these places really late at night, there's not really much to do or anywhere to go. You're just stuck having to just sit there in your car. I mean, or you could go for a walk if, if, the, if the climate's right. And in my situation, I went down to Florida dressed for Florida weather, and to my surprise, it was in the low 60s and upper 50s most of my drive down and I went through the same thing coming back up so I didn't even bring a I didn't prepare then that's my fault that's not Tesla's fault I didn't prepare so therefore I couldn't really I didn't really feel like walking a, a long distance with you know shorts and flip-flops when it's 57 degrees outside just didn't feel like doing that so um, I'll keep all of you posted on that I'll let you know if I hear anything I'm gonna do some research today and find out when Tesla will be installing more supercharging stations here in Atlanta because with Elon Musk getting serious about ramping up production on Model 3 and getting those numbers to meet where he's been projecting all of these years, it's going to get really, really tough to stop by a supercharger with all those people out there. I mean, it's not going to work. So I really hope and deep down I believe that they're already working on that I think that you know they're on it and I look forward to seeing it